Today we're out here shooting a dandy little revolver from the Smith & Wesson Performance Center. This is a model 686, 357 Magnum, which they've been making the 686 for decades now. This uh, particular version of it though, I really like it. I like the way they taper this barrel down here on it. The barrel profile is really odd. It's got uh, interchangeable uh, front sights on it. This one happens to be a blaze orange front sight, but there's a lot of different ones you can change in there. A little hole here in the front, you can change it out in just a minute. Uh, no trouble on that. It also has this speed release here. A lot of uh, competition shooters, they like this speed release because it's right up there for right handed. You push it in, pop that out. Easier from the reach for some reason. If you like that, it's on here. If you don't, you can go back to the normal kind, but this comes on it. Uh, also has the uh, uh, Performance Center action job, which is really good. You know, from the Performance Center, you're not, they don't just go out and, and take a gun off the line and bring it in there and slick it up. They build the gun in the Performance Center. It's kind of a factory within a factory. I've been there and looked at it, look how they run things. They do a really good job. They hold the to tolerances better, they, they polish better. This one has a, just a three one thousandth of an inch barrel cylinder gap. That gave me some good velocities out of it, uh, particularly on the some of these buffalo bore loads, these heavy loads right here, uh, I was getting more velocity than buffalo bore advertised on each of these loads. By the way, buffalo bore has better packaging now. It takes up a lot less room. This is how they used to package the stuff, but you can get twice as many of these on the shelf now with the new packaging as you could with the old. So uh, that's just, it's the same same stuff, better packaging, but this a uh, four inch Smith and Wesson. We're getting better velocities than buffalo bore advertised on there, and that's due. Mainly that tight barrel cylinder gap. Um, the gun, it's uh, uh, real smooth. Let me make sure we're empty here. The action on it, it measures close to 10 pounds, but it feels more like six. You know, it's just so smooth that it feels like Same on a single action, it's got a good crisp, typical, you know, 50 year ago Smith & Wesson single action trigger pull. They've uh, it just, it just feels perfect, the single action pull on there, and it measures close to four pounds on here. Got a smooth face trigger, makes for nice double action shooting. The grip on it is the whole synthetic rubber, feels perfect in my hand. If it don't in yours, you know, you can easily change that to something else. But I really like it. The gun shoots great. Um, paying extra for the Smith West Performance Center job, I think it's worth it because you're going to get better velocities. You're going to get a, a slicker action. You're just getting a better revolver than you would just buying the standard. There's nothing wrong with the standard 686. They're good guns. They'll run for hundreds of thousands of rounds uh, before you have to do anything to them. But the Performance Center, what you pay for it, I think it's worth it. This is MSRP on this is uh, $966 US. Of course, you can find it for a little less than that, but it's a really good revolver. It shoots great. The accuracy on this thing is phenomenal. I was shooting 25 yards off of this target shooting, incorporating uh, handgun rest here. I didn't even put it in the ransom rest. I was shooting off of this using my eyes. You know, if, if I could see better, you get I get better groups. It's shooting one hole all day if I could see better. Uh, groups on this thing. Here's a, one target I pulled off. Uh, they, it would typically shoot like this, under an inch, all day. Now, I had this one freaky group here that's about five eighths of an inch. I couldn't duplicate it, but that's six shots right there in five eighths. Most of them look just like this right here. That's a typical group. 7 eighths inch at 25 yards uh, shooting off this rest with my eyes uh, which is real good for me I can't shoot that good but with this gun I can so we're going to shoot a little bit show you how to handle this recoil uh, by the way those loads are shot with this uh, double tap uh, 38 wide cutter target ammo it's very accurate ammo when I got to shoot uh, small groups with a uh, to see how accurate something can be if I'm shooting a uh, 357 or 38 special, I reach for these target loads from double tap and try them out first. They're a flat nose, good target wad cutter. They shoot good, recoils light. So speed shooters, things like that, they shoot really well. This is a six shot revolver. They also have some seven shot versions of the 686, but this particular here one is the uh, six shot and I really like it. Like I said, if you don't, for some reason you don't want that latch on there, you can change, but once you get used to it, it's pretty nice not having to reach around to uh, hit that cylinder release latch. But we'll shoot a little bit, show you how it runs. These are available now from Smith & Wesson. So check them out at uh, smithandwesson.com. <clears throat> if you want to uh, find a Smith & Wesson dealer near you, go to lipsies.com, click on the dealer finder. If you want to order one of these online, go to galleryofguns.com, put in your zip code and your information, 
and you'll get prices from different dealers in your area that tell you where you can pick up this gun. You're not cutting out your dealer. You're not ordering from some place that, that excludes him. You'll be getting it at your dealer, but different dealers around you will be competing for your business. So go to gallerygun.com if you want to order one of these, but check them out, smithandwesson.com. I was concerned here that the speed latch might get in the way of me shooting left-handed, but it's way above the web of my hand and all here. It wasn't any problem at all. In fact, it, it uh, didn't touch my finger as much as the regular latch usually does when I'm shooting left-handed. I'm going to shoot some heavy 357 Magnum Buffalo Bore stuff out of here. This is the 180 grain Outdoorsman Load. It's a 180 grain hard cast bullet running 1,464 feet per second average out of this 4 inch barrel. I'm going to shoot what's a good all around load to me if you want to use it for social work or for deer hunting things like that. It's 125 grain of Barnes bullet that's loaded by Buffalo Bore double tap also loads it at about the same speed. It's running 1683 feet per second out of this four inch barrel. I'm going to say something about the sight on here while I'm at it. When I first pulled this out of the box at the hardware store, I didn't like that front sight at all. But it works really well out here on the range. Uh, shooting in the woods where it gets a little dark sometimes. Shooting in uh, my target right there now is in the shade. That uh, orange sight just it, it just jumps out at you. You can see it real easy. No problem at all. Contrast with this black rear sight. Works a whole lot better than I thought it would.